Here's a question I get asked frequently, and it is, if we're matching our expenses to our credit cards to make our minimum payments, won't the balance go up on these cards when the interest hits? And the short answer is yes, but you need to take a look at the bigger picture. So in parentheses for these multiple cards, card two, four, and five, uh, the parentheses is the interest on the card. So we have $115 in interest, $63 in interest, and $121 in interest, which comes to a total of $299. That is the total amount for the debt that it, it increased by that amount from those interest payments. However, because of the way that we are paying our multiple cards uh, by matching our expenses and bills to those payments, we are now freeing up the traditional minimum payments that we would have had to pay out the traditional way. We now have that as redirected cash flow. So that 171, that 94, and the 146 comes to a total of $411 that is redirected cash flow that we now funnel towards our primary card to pay that debt down very quickly. So even though our overall debt increased by the interest payments on these multiple cards, $299. We also, the overall debt um, came down by $411 because that is being funneled to our primary card. And so the overall uh, redirected cash flow is much greater than the amount that we're being charged in interest. So $411 is coming off our total debt because it's coming as a chunk off of our primary card. And even with that $299 that's added to the total debt, we're still coming out ahead by $112. So I hope that answers your question. Yes, when you're carrying a balance on a card, uh, when the interest hits, it is going to increase your overall balance, but that redirected cash flow turns out to be a much greater amount. And, and so you're still coming out ahead, even with that interest hitting.